Thanks, Nick. Good afternoon, everybody. Set and they're off. Racing into stride for the Judmond Royal Lodge at stakes. This group two over one mile. And with a big white face, it's Dubai Mile that would lead them at a very steady gallop, chased by a length and a half to the hot favourite Flying Honours, who runs in second in the Royal Blue there under William Buick. The dark blue to the outside is Greenland under Ryan Moore. And tucked in last of the four is the Foxes. So going on at this steady pace, it's Dubai Mile that dictates the tempo. And the Dunny Musket leads by a length or so to Greenland, who shadows Flying Honours. Pretty much a dispute for second. At last of the four is the Foxes as they make their way inside the final five. It's Dubai Mile on the front end, still at this very steady pace indeed. Leads a length and a half to flying on us to the inside of Greenland. And no move yet from the Foxes under David Probert. And they're racing inside the final half a mile. So three halfway, Dubai Mile still out in front. And leads by the best part of a length over flying on us. So impressive in those last two wins. Greenland to his outside and then the Foxes. The pace now just beginning to increase as they go towards the final two and a half furlongs. Dubai Mile is the one to get by. Leads by the best part of three parts of a length as they went by the bushes. Flying on us is now being pushed along. The Foxes over toward the far side and then came Greenland. They race now into the dip. Dubai Mile with a slender lead. Greenland to the outside begins to put it all in. Flying on us trying to dig deep. The Foxes every chance over on the far side. All four of them with a squeak inside the final. Final 100 yards, the Foxes are flying on us in Dubai Mile. The Foxes just in front, wins the Royal Lodge. The Foxes, tight for second, Dubai Mile and flying on us. And close up last to four, Greenland. Well, a little mini surprise in the Judmont Royal Lodge, perhaps not to the man on my right. David Probert has worn the King Power Silks to victory on the Foxes, a colt by Churchill having uh, his uh, fourth run. And he really is getting the hang of it, this colt, David. What sort of feel did he give you today? Yeah, he's, he really has turned over a new leaf, especially the last two starts. Um, I think from, from when he began at Newbury and then went to the Chesham, things never really went to, went to plan and he just wasn't quite ready for it. And um, I mean, like I say, he's mentally just come on uh, come on so much and uh, very professional today, very relaxed. With the tempo of the race wasn't very strong early on and he just got into a great rhythm throughout. And uh, he, he, he basically, when he got into gear, he was very tactically aware and um, stretched really well to the line. So uh, he's, a, he's got a great future and I think will improve by further next year. Were you alive beforehand to the possibility of not much of a gallop? Yeah, I was, I was but uh, I think the, f the first aim was, uh, because particularly trying them all for the first time, was just to get him to relax and uh, I think that was the key to him really. Um, he did get into that such good rhythm early on and was uh, he allowed me then to kind of, was able to, to, to follow the right ones and, and, and let him stretch at the right point. So he's not expending too much energy, even though the pace is sedate, he's not doing too much, you're just able to keep him in his comfort zone. Yeah, and I mean, he's, he, like I say, he's just a complete professional and um, I think that definitely helped him, you know, to, 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 to get the job done today. You are loaded with really nice staying juveniles in your stable at the moment. We saw what Stormbuster did in the Haynes, Hanson and Clark the other day. How would you compare the two horses? Yeah, fairly similar really this year. Um, both are quietly tactically aware, especially with speed, and um, both of them being quite impressive the last twice. But um, I think this horse will improve by going mile and a half next year, even so. Uh, and Storm Buster's probably a, a, a mile throughout. So uh, yeah, they're both nice juveniles to have in the yard anyway. And are either of them as good as Chaldi? Uh, well, th there is a possibility, but uh, you never know till till we try him at the top level. All right, well done. Thanks very much. Cheers.